Imagine you were browsing the web and you found a particularly beautiful website which you wanted to use as a bit of inspiration for your own website. Now, in the past, it would have taken you a lot of time, effort, money and sweat to actually get yourself to the position of building that whole website by yourself. In today's world, we do have artificial intelligence, which together with a lot of different AI tools, which help guide you in the right direction towards building that website. But today I want to show you a ridiculous tool which actually blew my mind, honestly. And it's called Claude 3.5 Sonnet and comes from the company called Anthropic, which is a key competitor to OpenAI, which of course gave us ChatGPT. Just a few months ago, they've given us the Claude 3 family, which is a very, very strong set of LLMs. They're called Claude 3 Haiku and Claude 3 Opus. And here's a chart which will show you how Claude 3.5 Sonnet, oh, this is starting to be a bit of a mouthful, but how this Sonnet new tool compares to its previous iterations. So as you can see, the cost of using the Haiku model was a bit lower and Opus was a bit higher than Sonnet. However, the intelligence level of the new one is through the roof, basically. We're gonna see that in just a few minutes. Here's one more comparison of Claude 3.5 Sonnet as opposed to its competitors such as, well, Opus, which is from its own family, and then GPT-4.0, which comes from OpenAI, and then we have Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro and Facebook's, or Meta's, Llama 400B. As you can see, it's exceeding all the other competitors in most of the other criteria, except for math problem solving, which ChatGPT-4.0 still takes the lead in, just a little bit. Wait till the next model. So without more of my rumbling, let's see a couple of examples of why this model is actually so great. So we'll start off simple, and I'm gonna show you an example of how I'm asking the model to generate a website based on a very simple instruction. I'll open Claude.ai, and as I start typing my prompt, you can see that it already says Claude 3.5 Sonnet at the bottom of my prompt. So you're getting this model for free, well, a couple of prompts per hour, but still, you're getting it for free and you can start playing around with it. So I'm going to ask it to generate a simple forum website and let's see what happens. After a couple of seconds, it was really, really fast. I'm getting a bit of code in HTML and CSS. And what we can do now is copy paste that piece of code and drop it into some kind of HTML code editor. I found this random website online and I'll paste it in and see how it runs. And as you can see, we have a simple forum, it's even called simple forum. You have a couple of sections, exactly what you would see in a forum website. If you wanted to continue down that route, you could also ask it to change a few components, add some more CSS customizations, but we're gonna swiftly move on to the next example. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you a tool that they've added into Claude's web UI. So if you click on your profile image and click into feature preview, you'll see that you have this little box showing up and it has one option, which is artifacts. And what artifacts gives you is that it will show you a preview of your files, of your media, of your code in a sidebar while talking to Claude. So let's flip that switch and see how it works. And spoiler alert, it's really worth flipping that switch. So in order to make this change work, you'll need to start a new conversation with Claude. So I'll do just that. And this time, instead of actually asking it particular instructions on what it's supposed to do, I'm going to send a screenshot of a website. It's actually Spotify's player. And I'm going to ask it to generate a website based on that screenshot. And after a few seconds, you can see a slightly less impressive website than Spotify. But bear in mind that what makes the Spotify app so appealing is all the different artworks, which, well, Claude doesn't have access to. So it just gave us dummy images um, which shows where the images would have gone and if you look at it the structure of the website is very similar to what we sent in the screenshot let's give it another example where we'll use the new york times website which is a lot more text heavy so it'll be a fair example for claude we'll take a screenshot of that and paste it into the model and after a couple of seconds there you go you got the new york times preview of a website which is very similar in my opinion you see you got the main section you got the title even with the right font and you got the side panel right next to it and you got the menu at the top where you can select between us world business etc so this is a very impressive tool considering that all this happened in what half a minute geez it's a bit of a game changer i mean 
scary at this point. I'm a software engineer by trade, so this does look a little scary to me. Another little example where we can see how Claude works with text. I'll ask it to write a document about the upcoming presidential election. And here you go, you got the document, which is in an MD format, which um, it's not a PDF, but we can get to a PDF in a second. So there's a little bit of a limitation in the number of different formats that it can use, but it's still pretty impressive. I mean, look at the formatting of that document. So what we can do is we can download this MD file and we can use a web-based converter to translate this MD to a PDF. So I am going to use a random tool I found, which is called Cloud Convert, which I actually use quite a lot, to be honest. I will use it to generate a PDF. And there you go, that's the PDF that you're getting. It's beautiful, it's got the right formatting. It's all that you might want to ask your large package model to deliver. So very impressive stuff. Next up, let's have a look at a diagram which it can generate. Cloud can generate diagrams in either React or it can use Mermaid, which is a separate language or framework for creating diagrams. So I'll ask it to generate a diagram of the demographics of Argentina. And here you go, you got a diagram right there, it's a pie chart actually. I see a couple of things that could be changed, but honestly, really good stuff. I'm pretty impressed. It's pretty much ready to be added to your next PowerPoint presentation if that's something that you do for work. And here's another example that I found online, which is that you can actually ask Claude to generate a game for you, which is crazy. You ask it to generate a game of Snake for me, and again, within half a minute, you have a working example of a video game in your web browser. I mean, isn't that insane? Of course, this is just the first prompt, so you can continue the conversation and keep adding new features to the Snake game until it's perfect to what you need. And I've seen a couple of examples of 3D games being played based on code generated by Claude. I'm gonna continue digging around to see what kind of crazy things Claude 3.5 Sonic can generate for us. Um, but for now, I'm gonna leave it with you so you can have a play around yourself. Just go to Claude.ai, create your very own account and go crazy. Enjoy and I'll see you next time. Take care.